Loose, the Extreme Sounds, I'm going to look at the performance of Windows 8 because I've noticed that it's a bit different to Windows 7 performance wise. It's a lot more efficient and it's got something special when it wants to pause apps. So, what I've kind of done is opened up every single application and program on this computer. So, all that, all of that is open. Okay. Everything's open, all the apps, all mail, music, people, photos, everything on Windows 8. And you'd guess it'd use up quite a lot, it's probably, you'd think it'd be slowing down, because it's got all this stuff open, which normally happens, because you'd, to get back to the start menu, you just minimise it, which is kind of what Windows 8 works like, you know. Um, but if you check out CPU usage, it's all the way down there, it's at 3%. And it's running at 800 megahertz. So I reckon the RAM's taking up the load for all this program. So that's 44% RAM out of 8 gig. And the Wi Fi is going because um, I've got a download going. So it's working really well. So you can still use this. Uh, yeah, this still works extremely quickly. You, know, you can go back onto. Facebook and all that, and desktop. Like I had Pingball open. Ooh, ooh. There you go. So there's Pingball open. Or Solitaire. So this is all maps. It just works extremely quickly. So there you go, we got France there. That's all very smooth. So it's, uh, calendar. So every single thing's open, and it still works perfectly, which I love because I thought that'd be a problem with the way that you minimise all programs. But safe to say that it's working great. And also, we're going to look at game performance now. Okay, so here we've got Need for Speed World, which is an online game by. EA games and this is going to be testing the speed of the internet because it's online with the download at the same time and graphics performance with every single program open. So as you can see it's got no lag oh yeah. it's got no lag um, there's no just re speed or anything like that it works very smoothly and the only thing that isn't fast in my driving really but that's fine so remember this is with every single program open and it's playing at actually the same speed that it would normally play at there wasn't any performance loss because Windows 8 actually pauses the apps and you're not using them so if you have a video open on Internet Explorer if it works with a flash um, it will pause it if you minimise it it will just automatically pause it so it's really good if you just want to um, quickly get to something else and you don't want to start pressing pause on videos or stopping what a game or something like it will pause it for you and that is actually a really good idea for tablets because you, you won't be using a tablet like a, like a computer you'll be flicking through things that's the way that's the way tablets are so that's really good I like that well done Microsoft right so say someone's messaged you and it pops up here so you have a little message you think right I don't want to like stop my game so you just press well, you press um, Start and D, which is desktop. So you come back here, and then it's all working fine. Still got everything open. I had to minimise it again. There. That's just because I went back to desktop. So the we just want to see. We got all the um, all that those apps open still. All there. Uh, and we're gonna look at the what it's using up. So we got CPU at forty four percent and it seems to be still at 800 megahertz which is a bit weird I think maybe that's a problem there um, we, have to, we have to get that reading fixed on the new version uh, memory is at 51% and Wi-Fi is at 2 point something kilobits a second that's because it's doing a slow download in the background um, all apps so yeah so it's still hardly using up anything just because it's it's more efficient. 
So that's the extreme sounds. So I'll have a quick look at why Windows 8 is a lot better than Windows 7 really. It's just so much quicker and efficient. So thank you for watching um, and goodbye.